The DJI Spark is a budget-friendly drone that is not only the cheapest, but also the smallest drone the company has to offer. For $500 without the controller, or $700 with the controller, the Spark is aimed at those who have never flown a drone before, and for those who want a travel-friendly drone capable of stabilized HD video. The feature-packed mini drone with 2-axis gimbal, 1080p camera, phone and gesture control, and a 16-minute flight time all packed into such a small package is pretty amazing. But what can we expect to see the company do to improve this aircraft for future versions? Find out what I think you can expect to see coming up. The first feature I believe will be a necessary upgrade for the Spark is improved camera quality. The current camera shoots 1080p, 30 frame per second video, and takes 12 megapixel pictures. Although I don't necessarily think it means it will have a 4K camera, which I will talk about later, I do believe a camera upgrade is to be expected in the new Spark. Maybe even a dual camera system will be seen, one wide, one normal, for awesome selfies and detailed aerial photography. The Spark currently has a two-axis mechanical gimbal, which corrects both tilt and yaw, but anything from a jerky movement to a gust of wind can turn the drone and add visible shakiness to the footage. Because of this, I think we can expect to see a 3-axis gimbal on the next DJI Spark to stabilize the video even more to improve overall footage from the Spark. Although the Spark is DJI's smallest and lightest drone, and the body of the aircraft is probably smaller than the phone in your pocket, with the added footprint of the arms, it is much larger which makes it less of a pocket drone. Small, don't get me wrong but not easily pocketable. Even compared to larger DJI drones, the size difference is minimal when they are folded, but I will touch on this again later. Either way, a foldable design would make the Spark a true aerial photography drone that fits in your pocket. The Spark offers a claimed 60 minutes of flight time per battery which with wind and other factors leaves you with around 12 to 14 minutes of actual airtime. Although the DJI Spark is already leading most mini drones in battery life, I don't believe that they will upgrade the battery any more than 20 minutes of flight time for many reasons, which I will discuss after. But either way, I do believe that we can expect to see more milliamp hours packed into each battery, keeping your Spark in the air longer. One thing you should expect to see return with the second Spark is a fly more package. If you opt for it, you get a controller which drastically increases range. I believe with the upgraded Spark, the range will be increased for the controller as well. Currently sitting at two kilometers, I believe we should expect to see three to four kilometer range in the new Spark. I don't believe the range will be increased over seven kilometers, but I will talk about that again later. Either way, range will most likely be increased for flyers who purchase the controller. The Spark currently has two collision avoidance sensors on the front and bottom, but for those trying to get the best shots they can, flying sideways and backwards aren't out of the ordinary. Side and back collision sensors might be expected to be on the upgraded Spark. This could also make more autonomous flight paths possible, and take even more worry out of the follow me feature. This would also make it even easier for the targeted audience of the drone, first time drone users. Finally, the point I was trying to get across with all the upgrades I did not expect to see surpassed on the Spark was in regards to the DJI Mavic Pro. The Mavic Pro is another small drone by DJI, and a 4K camera, 7km range, as well as foldable arms and 3-axis gimbal are all present. The price tag is also double that of the Spark. Because of this, it would not be in DJI's favor to add all of these features to a drone that is half the price. I believe DJI will improve upon the DJI Spark greatly, Adding some, but not all of the $1,000 Mavic Pro's features. Maybe the Spark was 2.7K camera quality, like the Phantom 3 standard, 4km range, etc, etc. But I do believe DJI will keep the Spark below par with the features of the Mavic Pro, while still improving the current mini quadcopter. The DJI Spark is changing the drone industry completely. It is putting budget-friendly, intelligent, and portable aerial photography equipment in the hands of everyday people. 
I am in no way guaranteeing anything in this video. These are my guesses on what improvements could be made to the already impressive DJI Spark. And hey, maybe if the Spark Pro or the Spark 2 does come out, DJI can hit me up with a review unit. Thanks for watching.